Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get BTV application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is super easy and it will take you only a couple of minutes. So first of all, what you have to do is get an app called Downloader to your Fire Stick or your Android TV. This app is totally free to get and to download from your official app store. So just go to the search on your device and start typing Downloader right here in the search bar. Usually, as you can see, there's even no need to enter the whole name of the app because it already popped out at the bottom. So click on Downloader here and basically that's the application which you need to get to your device. However, after you get Downloader, it's not over yet. You still have to set it up. And to do so, we'll go to Settings. So let's do it. Here's that button of gear icon, click on it. Then you can have an option to scroll down and click on My Fire TV. So click on it. And here you have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, and now what you have to do here is you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast. So let's do it. Now, as you can see, at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to enable ADP debugging here, then go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, if you go to the list of apps on your device, you'll find the loader. However, before actually using the loader, there's one really important thing. It's, of course, using a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In a VPN application, you just connect to any server, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is totally encrypted, which means nobody can track you or snoop on you online and your internet provider won't be able to tell what apps you are downloading or what videos you are watching online. And it's super important, especially if you want to stay out of trouble online. And if you don't have a VPN yet, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below this video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing deal. So go get those 4 months for free and then use the loader safely. And now let's finally open the downloader. Then on the left side menu, make sure to click on home. And then here in that search bar, you have to enter the code, which is going to be 28907. So once again, the code is 28907, and then you have to press on go. Then in a couple of seconds, a website is going to load. And after the website loads, what you have to do is scroll down a bit and you see the top five apps of the big category. And the BTV app is going to be right here. So we click on it. Then a new web page is going to open, which you also have to scroll down. And keep scrolling until you see those download buttons. They have to look exactly like those. So here you can download the usual option and version of the app as well as ad free. And if for some reason those buttons do not work for you, there's also the backup download link right below that button, which you can also use. So now let's click on download. And in a couple of seconds, with the load of BTV should start. Here it is. Now just click on install in the right bottom corner. Now it is installing. It might take a moment. And then after the app has been installed, don't press on open yet. Instead, click on done. Because here we have an option to delete the installation file as we don't need it anymore. So click on delete and then delete once again. Now let's go to the list of apps on our device. Here it is, click on it. And then when you scroll down, you'll find the BTV application. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button of three horizontal lines. Then press on move to front. This way BTV application is always going to be at the very top of your application list. And it's going to be way easier to access it. And then once again, of course, don't forget to use a VPN when accessing that kind of applications. And the link to a great offer for NordVPN is going to be in a pinned comment below this video. See you next time. Bye bye.